Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss few things about VLAN. Here I am assuming that we know about chunking as well as VLAN. Let's start with the question. Question is, can PC1 communicate with PC2? If you have answered yes, then you are right. Let's have a look on packet walk. Let's assume we have originated traffic from PC1. As soon as EVA switch one received that particular frame on Ethernet two by one, it will come to know that particular traffic is for VLAN 11. Now EVA switch one will check, do I have any port which is in VLAN 11? Here as per this uh, topology, we can see we have one, configure, uh, one port configured as an access port and it is in VLAN 11. Therefore, it is not going to insert the tag and will send untagged a frame towards EVA switch 2. EVA switch 2 will receive that particular frame on 2 by 1, which is in part of VLAN 21. Then EVA switch 2 will check, do I have any port in VLAN 21? As per topology, we have Ethernet 2 by 2, which is in VLAN 21. So traffic from PC1 will go to PC2 basically means we are able to ping or we are able to send the traffic from PC1 to PC2 even though they are in different VLAN catch is the interlink in between EVA switch 1 and switch 2 as it is configured as an access port one as 11 another access port of VLAN 21 therefore they are able to ping each other even though VLAN are different let's have a look on same topology with slight config changes. Here I have made the changes and that particular port is configured as a trunk port, as a trunk port. Now let's have a look whether they are able to communicate or not. If you uh, like think no, then you are right. Uh, let's have a look why, why not. Let's assume I have originated traffic from PC1. As soon as EVA switch one receive that particular traffic, it will come to know okay. It is for VLAN 11. Now it will check, do I have any port in VLAN 11? Here we have only trunk port where all the VLANs are allowed. So while sending over the trunk, it will insert the tag. So the remote end can understand that particular traffic belongs to VLAN 11. As soon as EVA switch to receive that particular frame or traffic, which has VLAN tag, 11 it will check do i have any port in vlan 11 then it will send it uh, on those port but here as per uh, topology we have two ports only and ethernet 2 by 2 is not in vlan 11 therefore they are not able to communicate so why that happens because of interlink where we are inserting tag to inform a remote end like that particular traffic belongs to vlan 11 therefore you are switch 2 is not forwarding the frame towards Ethernet uh, 2 by 2, which is in VLAN 21. If uh, like a uh, kind of, it is not part of VLAN 11. In same topology, I have made some other changes. I have configured native VLAN. Hopefully we know about uh, like a native VLAN, as we know like native VLAN is used to handle untagged traffic and it does two things, okay? Here, a frame belonging to the native VLAN will, will be sent untagged, okay? If I am receiving untagged, uh, untagged uh, frame on trunk link, means it will, be, it will be handled by native VLAN, right? So I have what is, let's take a packet walk. Uh, so I have generated uh, uh, ping or originated traffic from PC1. As soon as EVA switch one receive, uh, traffic on Ethernet uh, 2 by 1, it will come to know, okay, it is for VLAN 11. And while sending over the trunk port, it will check I am receiving traffic on VLAN 11 and native VLAN is also uh, 11. So I will not insert the tag. And when EVA switch to receive untagged frame, it will come to know whenever, uh, as it is trunk port, whenever I receive untagged frame, I will send it in VLAN 21, therefore it is sending it. Now, if you see here, uh, like uh, can PC communicate with PC2? Then I have given if yes, then you are right theoretically. So, so theoretically packet seems will go from PC1 to PC2, but if no, then you are right practically. So why so? So theoretically we discuss, 
but why practically we are not able to send uh, traffic from pc1 to pc2 because stp will come in picture and that particular port will be in broken state therefore traffic from pc1 to pc2 will not be reachable practically okay theoretically even it seems they will be but practic practically they they will not able to send traffic from pc1 to pc2 okay here is broken state uh, you can see here right that will be in broken state the next uh, question is like what what could be the reason if sva is not coming up so i i would suggest to follow this checklist check whether l2 vlan is configured or not okay if l2 vlan is configured then check do do that particular vlan have one port or not if we have l uh, like vlan configured as well as one port in that particular vlan then 99.95% it will come up the other third one will check using this now here in vlan 10 i have one port so first is vlan 10 is configured and we have uh, one physical port in it now let's check the status of ethernet 1 by 1 here we can see we have uh, like ethernet 1 is up connected means svi will has to come up but here when i am seeing it is not coming up why because we don't have that particular port in forwarding state so to vlan to come up we we should have vlan configured in l2 database one port one up port as well as that port has to be in forwarding state from stp point of view okay let's have a have a look on practical part here as i said we have configured 2 by 1 as access port 2 uh, by 2 which is going towards uh, P, uh, pc uh, towards switch is access port towards pc is access port same way uh, towards switch okay towards switch is not configured let me configure it switch port mod access switch port access vlan 21 and i have initiated ping uh, from pc1 where we can able to see we are able to ping this is our first topology where we have access 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 different vlan let's change it to the trunk which is our second uh, topology which we discuss okay and as soon as we change it to trunk we will notice traffic okay i'm oh, sorry i was sorry is nothing for different ip so two we are not able to let's change it back to switch port mode access and switch port access vlan 11 okay here yeah, just to make sure whether we are able to send the traffic or not so we done that we are able to send it right and switch port mode trunk let's have a look whether yeah we are not able to send it so this is this is our first uh, second scenario where as soon as we configure trunk it will not come up the third one is uh, third one was uh, like uh, native vlan right so native vlan can be configured using trunk native vlan 21 okay and as soon as we configure we see inconsistency because by default native vlan is one and uh, same way if we configure here switch port uh, switch port uh, trunk native vlan 11 here we see that, that particular port is in blocking state vlan 11 okay and uh, same way we can check for 
So this is our second scenario. Now, the next thing is SVI is not coming up. Let's have a look. I have, I'm going to create two SVIs. One is VLAN 11 and uh, we'll check, is it coming up? Okay. Show interface VLAN 11 pipe include VLAN. So here we can see, okay. Here we can see it is coming up. Let's take another example where we are uh, creating VLAN SVI for VLAN 11. Okay, I have created SVI. Let's have a look whether SVI is coming up or not. Here we can see SVI is not coming up. So first step will be we have to check do I have uh, that particular VLAN as in L2 database? Yes, I have. Is it uh, like the, do we have one port? Yes. Is that port is up or not? That particular port is up. Do I have one forwarding port in VLAN 21? No, we don't have, that's why it is not coming up. So here is something called auto, auto state, which is uh, by default enabled. If we disable that, it will come, come up, okay? And uh, okay, so here you can see like uh, uh, as soon as you disable auto state, it will come up. So what auto state is basically, uh, if it is enabled, it will check whether we have one port, one uh, port up as well as one port in uh, forwarding from STP point of view. If we disable, it will not check and SVI will come up. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for your time.